How y'all doing? Welcome to Woodshed Annex. One of the things I wanted to share today was some tips and tricks. So this is four inch bent wrap. Uh, I'll put a link to it below from Amazon. I buy the four inch rolls and then I split them on my bandsaw. Once I split them, I end up with two two inch rolls. Now, uh, this stuff I use for a lot of different things. One of them would be uh, wrapping the, the hand pieces on my Fordham's. So you can see I go through and um, by putting different colors on, sometimes I remember which size of collet is in each tool. They each, you know, you have multiple different sizes, but I start to identify, oh, that's that's quarter inch. Oh, that's the, you know, the smaller of the two and whatnot. But this also helps um, grab a hold of the tool. They're aluminum, they're, they're cold or hot. They're never comfortable. Wrapping them in this, uh, it helps me. Uh, I like it. Another thing I do with vet wrap often, or this animal wrap, uh, the reason why it's a lot cheaper is the same stuff that when they draw blood, they wrap around your arm. Uh, but one of the reasons it's cheaper is because for the vet wrap, it's not sterile. So uh, I'll take a little piece of this. Now for you knife carvers out there, that isn't very sharp. Uh, when I'm carving or paring, with a knife, I'm often cutting into my own thumb or across my hand like this. If you, if you were to look, I got scars on my fingers from, from doing detail work with knives, but this stuff you can wrap around. And then if you're carving into yourself, it's oftentimes, if you have a slip or a mishap, it's the difference between uh, stitches and not getting stitches just by wrapping it up. This stuff's you know, fairly cheap, I think, by the time you, you know, buy them and split them down, they're about 60 cents a roll. So you can go through this stuff pretty rapidly, but it's a good way to wrap your fingertips up. Um, I, I don't do well with gloves, so I, I tend to use something like this. I've been in competitions where I've been just going too hard and you know, sprained a wrist or something, or had a saw kick back and jam something, and I've, I've literally wrapped my wrist up with it like an ace bandage. Another thing that uh, I found this incredibly useful for is I can take a, a carving. Now I gotta replace some fins on this one, but um, like if I'm going to set that fin and glue it in, one of the things I can do is, uh, and we'll just grab something for fun. Just use a piece of wood like this for an example and, and lay this in here. And I'm able to use this as a clamp. Um, sometimes I'll go around at three or four times or put a twist in it and straighten it up. But as you can see, I mean, it's... For what it is, it's, 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 it's a good little non-marring clamp, and that's not going to hurt the finish of, of your carving. So once I get down the road with a carving, if I need a clamp or I need to glue something, I typically will wrap it in this wrap. Uh, one of the words of caution might be is uh, if you leave it wrapped up for a really long time, uh, if I only change out the wrap on these handles every, you know, once or twice a year, the stuff underneath is sticky. I've never had it if I've pulled it off within a, you know, a week or even two weeks, I've never had an issue with it. But I do know if you leave it wrapped up around a lot of stuff for a long time, it can cause problems. But uh, I'm, I'm not endorsed uh, to, to say any of these things about this stuff, but um, I do use it a lot. And it's a little tip or trick that I can pass on to you that might help you um, in your, in your carving or in your um, adventure. So I hope that helps. We'll see you next time.